Hi everyone, and welcome to some retro news. Work on getting CD ISOs and bins to load has started on the in-development PlayStation Core for the Mr. FPGA. So far, only very simple and small CD images can be loaded, and it also requires a second SD RAM chip for loading. Whether this extra chip will be required when the core is fully developed is still unknown, but in its current state, it allows the developer to do the testing he needs to further develop the CD implementation. Here's a little tease from Fertech, the creator of the Neo Geo core for the Mr. FPGA. He posted on his Twitter a message about getting the arcade Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game working for Mr. In the tweet, he also has an image of the inside of one of the game's chips. Fertech has done a lot of work with decapping chips, which allows you to image the inside of a chip. Decapping is also one of the ways of getting the information you need to develop a core. It involves removing the outer casing of a chip so that its internal die can be visually inspected. This can help you understand just how the chip works and therefore replicate the functionality on an FPGA chip. MRA loading is coming to Neo Geo games thanks to Blackwine. What this means is that you will have the option to load up Neo Geo games just like you would other arcade cores instead of loading them up like the console cores. Nothing else changes as far as playing the games. This is just an optional feature for those who prefer to treat Neo Geo games as arcade games instead of console games. 8 Bits Forever has a Mr. FPGA conversion kit for Amiga 500 cases, which they call Mistress. This is a custom I.O. board that fits inside an original Amiga 500 case so you can get that classic all-in-one retro computer look. It has all the same connections as the official analog I.O. board and adds a USB hub, I2S audio DAC, and a low latency DB9 joystick port that is compatible with Amiga, CD32, and Atari controllers. The price is 95 euros or 109 US dollars. This is not Mr. News, but really cool FPGA gaming news. Reddit user Blazarius is developing an FPGA-based Game Boy clone that runs games from real cartridges. He created custom hardware that is based on the Xilinx Spartan 7 FPGA. He also plans on open sourcing his design so others can create their own. There are still a lot of design flaws he wants to fix, but does expect to create a Hackaday post. It would be cool if this project evolves to become a portable version of the Mr. Project. Finally, if you want to learn a little more about me, the YouTube channel Zez Retro had me on their podcast where we discuss retro gaming, my channel, and life in general. He also has other interviews with people in the retro community and creates his own retro related content, so be sure to check him out. A big thank you to the channel host, Louis Zezeran, for having me. I had a really fun experience. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.